Hey guys, welcome to my um, weekly update on my 10K in 100 Days Challenge. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. This is day number 42 of the 100 Days Weekly Challenge. If you're um, new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Miss V, and I have a budget-friendly um, channel. I would just say it's a lifestyle channel about budgeting in different ways, like ways to decorate your home on a budget. I do cash stuffing. I do saving challenges. You know, I coupon, I use all kind of apps to save money. And the purpose of me doing all that is because I want to retire at the age of 60. At least that's what I say, but we'll see what God has to say. And so I am preparing to live a budget-friendly lifestyle in order to prepare for retirement. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom of the video. And let's go ahead and get into it. So, if you've been following me for a while, this is day number 42, which is, hmm, I don't know what week it is. But anyway, I'll put it on the screen what week it is. But I started this challenge July 24th, and it will end October the 31st. And what you are to do is to pick an envelope every day for 100 days, but I have modified it to my lifestyle and the way I get paid. At the end of seven days, I pick seven envelopes or more depending on how much I save. So I save a certain amount of money that week and then I go and pick the envelopes accordingly or, or opposed to picking the envelopes first because I may not have that money for that week. So this is a way for me to de-stress and enjoy the journey. So I wanted to share it with you guys to give you some insight and give you some tips if it's something you want to do. I know 10k is a, a you know it's a lot of money but I wanted to challenge myself. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. So, you know, even if I don't save the whole, the entire $10,000, I'm still going to record my journey because that doesn't mean you're a failure. That just means you didn't reach your goal at that designated time. So, I hope you get some tips from me. And so, let's go ahead and get started. So, for this week again, it was a slow week. I'm still not able to get into my storage building. I was supposed to be, um, Cleaning out my storage building and selling some of those unwanted items that I'm not using. So, I had to be creative on ways to get some money this week. And what I did is, I just celebrated my birthday. And I got some birthday money I'm going to use. I'm going to use some money from our check and buffer account. And I'm also going to use some money from my paycheck. So, I'll put the information on the screen, the amounts that I'm going to use. And so, we're going to go ahead and stuff six envelopes. Because we're one envelope ahead. Last week I did eight envelopes. So, you know, I'm supposed to be doing seven per week. So, I try to stay ahead if I can. So, I only have to do six this week. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, we saved $505 this week. Can you see the screen? Yeah. So, trying to make sure you're in frame. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So we're going to start out with 505, and I want to go ahead and get some of these um, larger envelopes marked off, even though it's only $500. And the way I do mine is I just um, mark the envelope off instead of actually putting the physical cash in. And I did create, finally, finally, finally created my Capital One 360 account for my 10k challenge I'll show it to you on the screen but as you can see it still does not have any money because you know when you set up transfers they have to verify your account because um the account that I'm transferring from is at another facility and so you know they have to send you the three little um deposits and then you have to go in and Verify those and that's the that's the point I'm at now. I haven't verified yet because they haven't sent them to me So by the time the next video, hopefully I'll have my Money in the bank. So let's go ahead and get started. So we got 505. We're gonna mark off envelope number 89 Um, If you're interested in this sheet, I can link it in my description box So envelope number 89 has 178 So we're gonna go ahead and mark that one off then we're down to $327. Then we're going to mark off envelope number 88. It has 176 in it. So now we're down to $151. So we're going to go up here and finish this row. Um, envelope number 17 has $34 in it. So we're down 
down to 117. Envelope number 18 has $36 in it. We're down to $81. I don't think this is going to turn out right. Wait a minute. I did something wrong. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I had to change one of the envelopes. My um, total was wrong. So, where were we? Let me start off 504, 5 minus 178. 81 dollars left okay so we're gonna do envelope number 19 we're gonna subtract 38 dollars that gives us 43 dollars left so i originally was gonna do another envelope but that's wrong so i'm going to do envelope number 21 which is 42 dollars which will leave us with one dollar yeah so that's it so we should have since this is day 42 we should have 42 envelopes so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Hey, we got but 39 envelopes. So I'm three envelopes short. I think. Let me figure this out and I'll be back. Well, that's right. I am three envelopes short. I don't know how, but I'm three envelopes short. That's okay. Remember, I told you I'm going to show you the highs and the lows. So, we have 39 envelopes that we have filled. So, next week, I'll try to do 10 if I can. So, yeah, I got to get into that storage building. So, that's it. That's going to conclude this video. So, I'll put the total on the screen. And so, we're still moving along. I'm expecting some extra money the end of this month. And hopefully, you know, some money that's been I loaned out will be paid to me before October the 31st. And, of course, my regular paychecks, I have overtime coming. And so, we'll just see. So, that's going to conclude this video. This is Miss V. I'm going to continue to show you love. And I'm going to always help you save on some of the things you need so you can get some of the things you want. Thank you for watching my progress. Have a nice day.